Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wondered after you take out your braids, how come your hair is locking up while you're shampooing? Well, in today's video, I'll give you the tips and tricks that you need so that won't happen again. If you don't know who I am, my name is Whitney Bennett and I am a hair and makeup artist based in New York City here to give you tips and tricks on my channel. If you are not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get focused. All right, so we took out Amanda's braids in a previous video and now it's time to show you how to shampoo her hair. You want to wet down each section. Remember she had four sections that was detangled. So now I'm just going to rinse her hair um, she has a lot of oil and leave-in conditioner in the hair, so you just want to make sure you really rinse it. All right, so I went ahead and sped up the video. We rinsed the whole head, and now it's time to condition the hair. Yes, you are going to condition the hair before you shampoo. Like I always mention in all my videos, and I'll make sure I link them in this video, um, you definitely need to work in small sections when you're applying the conditioner. Uh, you always want to warm the conditioner up as you see how I have done in this video and you want to finger comb in very tiny small sections. If you're not used to finger detangling, please keep the sections that you had before you condition the hair and work in those sections by adding the conditioner. As you can see, I'm just working the conditioner all over the hair, really pressing the hair in. And it took me some time because I really wanna make sure I'm co-washing, which is applying conditioner to the hair before I start to shampoo. If you have experienced knotting before, it's because the hair wasn't oiled and moisturized enough during the braids and it's not getting its normal moisture. So of course, when you hit water and shampoo before you put conditioner on, it knots up on you. So yeah, try this trick. You totally won't have any knots and you won't lose your hair. Now that the hair has been finger detangled and conditioned, it is time to rinse the conditioner out and then we're going to go ahead and start to shampoo. I'm going to go ahead and speed this process up just because we already know how to shampoo, right? If you don't know how to shampoo, I'll make sure how to shampoo your hair properly is linked in this video below as well. Just like with the conditioner, you want to go ahead and shampoo in sections. You want to definitely make sure you're focusing at the scalp and not too much at the ends because the buildup is at the scalp and you just go ahead and get that scalp squeaky clean. And that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you have subscribed to my channel and you hit that notification button if you have not. And until next week, peace.